TJ, your favorite scuba diver here with Deep South Divers. I wanted to talk to you about dry gloves. We've been talking a lot about it and uh, I've got some suggestions for you. So uh, the first one, the one that I keep going back to, I've actually have, I've actually got this mounted on a ring. Uh, this, is the, uh, this is the ultimate dry glove ring system. I've showed you this before. This is the Showa 720. And uh, it, just to give you an idea of what it looks like with it on, See how nice and flexible that is? It's very soft, it's very flexible, it's very stretchy. Um, the one that you're probably used to, if you're used to diving blue, blue gloves, is the, uh, is the 660, that is the Showa 660. This is a PVC glove with a cotton liner rather than a nitrile glove with an acrylic liner. The acrylic liner stays cleaner longer, the nitrile is much uh, stretchier and it's tougher too. Uh, but uh, if you're used to this, you will be used to seeing it look like this. So if you look closely, you can see how well, stiff, really, the PVC is. So you have a stiff glove there, and the nitrile is significantly less stiff, and more flexible, okay? Now I've been asked about sizing. Um, you can see here, this is an extra large 720, and it's about the same size as extra large 660. The 660 might be a little thicker cut in the fingers. Um, the, the, uh, you notice that I'm using them without a, an underglove and I'm going to call it an underglove rather than a glove liner not to be so that we don't mistake this stuff for the glove liner. Right? Now when people are talking about undergloves they're typically talking about something like this. This is the fourth element uh, G2 and um, it is, they actually call it a glove liner on here, but it's really an underglove. So uh, it's actually made of like one millimeter uh, neoprene. And um, you see the seams are very interesting. They're very unique. They kind of go around. They're flat seams. So they're very difficult to, uh, to feel. You've got a nice fit on, the, on, the, on this particular glove liner. And it does fit inside of both the 660s and the 720s. It's kind of a it's kind of a tough fit. I might want to go with a um, you know the next size up if I did if I did the G2 uh, glove liner. So a little tougher to get off. <clears throat> All right, and the G2 glove liner in the Showa 720 about the same sort of stiff, bulky, probably very warm. I say probably because, in general, the nitrile gloves are warmer than the PVC 660 gloves anyway, and so I typically don't use liners with these. But when I do, I use uh, Fourth Element Elements new glove liner, right, or under glove, however it is that you that you want to call it, and that is the new Zero Therm. And you see, this is this is a fabric. This is a fleece. It's thin. It's made of the same material that uh, your zero therm undergarments are made of, if you're familiar with the zero therm undergarments. And uh, it too is very warm and uh, even stretchier, a lot less bulk than that uh, G2. That goes right inside of an extra large uh, 720 for me. And it goes right inside of uh, an extra large um, 660 as well. Uh, the 660 probably has a little bit more room, but the 660 is, um, well, the material's stiffer. So even though I might have a little bit more room, I definitely have a stiffer, stiffer uh, setup this way than I do with the 720. Yeah, I would take this all day long uh, over, the, uh, over the 660s. Nonetheless, most of the time, uh, I'm diving uh, linerless or uh, under gloveless because I'm happy with the uh, with the um, uh, flexibility and the warmth of this uh, of this glove as it is. So there you go. So once again, 720. It's actually listed right there. Atlas 720. That is a size 10 XL. This is the uh, Atlas 660. That is also an XL. It doesn't say what the number it is. Uh, that's sort of the old, original, go-to uh, 660 glove. The, the, the new 720 nitriles 
And then of course the, uh, the under gloves or uh, the uh, glove liners, however it is that you want to call them. Yeah, so uh, th this is the uh, this is the Zero Therm, this is the G2. Uh, there's many other other under gloves uh, on, the, uh, on the market as well, but uh, these two are probably the most popular, this one being the most popular, and uh, this one being sort of the legal. So that's it. So a little rundown on uh, the 660, the 720, and 4th Elements uh, Race Center Gloves. Thanks for watching.